As Florida marks the 100th anniversary of the Old Spanish Trail National Auto Trail, what we know today as U.S. Highway 90, Two Egg TV is in search of Florida's original Old Spanish Trail. When the modern highway officially opened in 1929, parts were paved and some parts were still dirt. Promoters said that travelers could follow in the footsteps of padres and conquistadors. While that was a bit of a stretch in many places, historian Dale Cox says it was true in Florida. We actually know quite a bit about the trail used by the Franciscan friars in the 1600s, especially the part from St. Augustine west to what is now Tallahassee, which was the mission and fort of San Luis. Um, from there, in fact, west to the Apalachicola River, we know quite a bit about it. Jason Dehart portrays a Spanish soldier. The old Spanish trail started out itself as a uh, ancient Indian path through the woods. Now, as the Spaniards came and settled more and more of La Florida, you're going to see the Spaniards improving the road. Over time, these primitive Indian paths were uh, made to accommodate military patrols, um, ox cart, uh, pack, new, uh, pack animals. From the fort and mission, the original trail passed today's cities of Havana and Quincy to reach the Apalachicola River at Chattahoochee. At the evening hour of prayer, I reached the banks of the river called the Apalachicola, which empties into the sea. The same night, I, the Reverend Fathers, and several others crossed the stream with considerable difficulty to a spot on the opposite side to spend the night because of the great discomfort on the east bank. Governor of Florida, 1693. On the west side of the river, it wound up a steep hill to San Carlos, near present-day Sneeds. It was a Franciscan mission. Um, by, you know, 1680s, it was the westernmost of the Spanish missions on the Franciscan chain. Um, and uh, that was a point that from which all of the other Spanish trails uh, in West Florida spread out. Um, and there are several descriptions from different expeditions of them leaving out of San Carlos. It was at Sneeds in Jackson County that the 1920s Old Spanish Trail finally diverged from the general route of the original Mission Road. The early 20th century highway continued on as a dirt road, while the 17th century trail turned northwest to a magnificent natural spring. On June 11th, we proceeded northwest through various woods and pine groves in about five leagues and reached such a large and excellent spring that a stream deep enough for canoes actually issues from it. The spring is entirely surrounded by woods with many walnut, evergreen oak, laurel, common oak, sassafras, and some pine trees. Around it are numerous huge rocks and habitable caves frequented by the Indians on their hunting trips for bear, deer, and buffalo, of which there is an abundance. The soil for three or four leagues round is rich and suitable for all kinds of cultivation. There are very excellent wild grapes on the many vines and many luscious chestnuts. Here we spent the night thanking God for such a pleasant and delightful spot, uninhabited, save for the wild animals who enjoy it. Spanish Friar, 1693. Now called Jackson Blue Spring, the spring is a popular swimming area near Mariana. The caves described by the friars are still there, but the American bison are long gone. It was here that the original Old Spanish Trail started breaking apart into multiple trails. The main 16th century pathway crossed the Chipola River at its natural bridge, a feature still visible at Florida Cavern State Park. It passed Blue Hole Spring in the park and led on to a massive limestone cave where early Franciscans dedicated Mission San Nicolas. Now we don't think this cave is one of the caves in Florida Cavern State Park. We think it's one of the caves that is somewhere just to the west of the park. Unfortunately, we don't know which cave it was. Archaeologists have looked for it, they have some ideas, but thus far they have not been able to find this cave. I think we are getting closer to finding the mission site. 
Um, we always, as archaeologists, we always joke that negative data is still data, and we've surveyed a number of caves that have the potential to be uh, the mission site or the cave site of the mission San Nicolas um, de, de Tolentino. Um, and every cave that we have surveyed that does not turn out to be the mission site, or every cave that we survey that's where we're not finding Spanish materials or we're not finding early historic materials, we're able to cross that off the list and to continue on with the next cave. The road divided again at San Nicolas, with trails leading off to the north, west, and southwest. What remained of the main trail angled southwest toward Falling Water State Park, Orange Hill, and Holmes Valley near Chipley, Florida. Somewhere in this area was the last link in Florida's mission chain. And this was the first mission San Carlos that existed for a year in around 1674 to 1675. Um, this was the same group that later moved over to near the Apalachicola River near Sneeds uh, and founded a second mission. Um, this one, we don't know exactly where this one is. Um, these trails just start to go off in all kinds of directions. Florida's original Old Spanish Trail or Mission Road ended near the state's tallest waterfall. U.S. Highway 90 is the Old Spanish Trail today, commemorating both the original road and the 1920s auto trail. The road, the modern road that we all travel on and use and enjoy today, you can kind of put yourself back as part of our transportation heritage. I mean, this, this road was once used by natives, uh, Native Americans, and the Spanish used it, and then the English used it and then the, um, the Americans used it. So it's, uh, for me, it's kind of interesting from a heritage standpoint that we're still using, you know, basically that same, basically that same route, just different technology. And 300 years from now, they'll be saying, man, this is a, you know, they may have different roads, they may have different ways of transportation, but hopefully that the, uh, the heritage of that highway and the Spanish Trail, hopefully that heritage will not go away. To learn more and to keep up on events marking the 100th anniversary of the highway, visit our website at twoegtv.com. Following Florida's original Old Spanish Trail, I'm Rachel Conrad for Two Egg TV.